Hi, this is Miss Wiles, and in this video, we'll be looking at um, decay, even though it's called decreasing. When you have a decreasing rate, we're talking about decay. Um, so in this video, we'll look at um, car prices that are decreasing over time. And we want to, based on the tables that we have, the information that we have, we want to find one of these that is decreasing at a rate of approximately 7.3% annually. Now each one of our, if you just glance at what we're looking at here, we have four tables with the year and the price of the car as the values that we're looking at. We have all of the tables have from 2007 to 2010, and then we have prices for each of those years. Now the first thing I want to do is see if there are any that aren't decreasing. If there are any of these tables of values where the price is increasing over the time, then it can't be the right answer because the, the values of the cars, or the price of the car is not decreasing. That's what I'm looking for. If I look at the first one, it actually increased from 1500 to 1665. So A is not an answer. If I look at the second one, the price did go down. So that's a possibility. If I look at the third one, the price went down. If I look at the fourth one, the price went down. If you look at the, the most obvious things like that, there's usually one answer choice that you can just eliminate. At least one. Usually. Not always, but it's worth looking for because if you can eliminate one, um, your guess gets better even if that's all you can do. Now to find a rate of 7.3% annually, I need to look at percent of change. Let me come over here and give you some information on percent of change. You've seen this on other videos before, and you can always look up percent of change to learn more about it. Percent of change is the new minus the old, and this is just another way of saying it, the new number or the new price minus the old price divided by the old price. The new price minus the old price divided by the old price. Some might say the, the, um, the end minus the beginning divided by the beginning. But that's how we find our percent of change, how much of a percent something is growing or decreasing. If I look at B, and I see that the price has changed from 1500 to 1489. I take the new price. Let's get back to our main screen. The new price is $1,489, and I subtract the old price of $1,500. That means the price itself has gone down $11. But that is not a percent. That is an amount. The price itself has gone down $11. The rate that it has gone down is when I divide it by the original number, which was $1,500, divide that by $1,500, and I get a negative point zero zero seven three negative point zero zero seven three now if I were doing this on my own with on a test I might use my pencil right here and I know that to make that a percent I need to move that decimal this way so that would be a point seven three percent but because you're taking notes on this I'm going to move it here this would be a point seven three percent that is not the same as 7.3%. So even though the numbers are right, the value of their place value is not, so B is not the correct answer. Go ahead and pause the video and check C. See if you get the right answer, and if it's not C, check D. To check C, I take my new amount of 1390, and I subtract the original amount of 1500, and this price has gone down $110. I divide that by the original price of 1500 and I get 0 0.073, negative 0 0.073. To change that to a percent, move that decimal back to, and now I do have the 7.3% that I'm looking for. I can choose C pretty confidently. I really don't need to check D unless I've just got all the time in the world, so we're not going to do that in this video. And that's all I have to say about that.